Hello world, it is, <clears throat> excuse me, Wednesday, November 1st, 2023, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's beautiful blue skies, sun out there, and um, chilly though, it was 28, I think, this morning when I went running, but I think it's supposed to be close to 60 today, so a very pleasant day. <clears throat> the devotion for today is Shouting Fire in a Crowded Church by Vince Amlin, and Vince Space is the devotion, Psalm 112. Verses 6 through 8a, New Revised Standard Version. For the righteous will never be moved. They will be remembered forever. They are not afraid of evil tidings. Their hearts are firm, secure in the Lord. Their hearts are steady. They will not be afraid. Glenn Vince writes. In September, I had a breakthrough with my spiritual director. I came into our session anxious and overwhelmed. And 45 minutes in, I heard God speak exactly the words I needed to hear. I cried. I felt assured of God's care. I carried a deep peace with me for days. And by October, I was a mess again. Sister Catherine asked me gently but pointedly, what would it take for you to hold on to that truth? There's a story of St. Cuthbert for this All Saints Day about how he was preaching in some Scottish town when he foresaw that the people were about to be tricked. He warned them, whatever happens outside, don't pay attention. It's just the enemy trying to keep you from receiving good news. Not long after, the congregation heard cries of fire from the street and ran out in panic. But when they arrived, what seemed to have been smoke and flames disappeared, and they realized they should have trusted Cuthbert. I feel for those people. No matter how I've been reassured how certain I am of God's care, the voices of doom can be persuasive. The bad news can feel more real than the good. The present disaster more powerful than the eternal Savior. But don't be tricked. God is God, maker of heaven and earth, conner of our hairs, keeper of our lives. What would it take to hold on to that truth? And Vince's prayer. Steady my heart, unfailing one. Amen. Well, the thoughts I had when reading this devotion is that um, there's just so much going on in the world today with the war in the Middle East, in the war in Ukraine uh, um, against Russia, uh, mass shootings, whatever. And it's just so easy to get overwhelmed and to feel like there's nothing but bad happening. But there is some good happening too. You just have to look for it. And sometimes we have to create it. And I think that's a reminder that um, we're not to get this devotion anyway as a reminder that we're not to get bogged down in all the bad things, but um, look for the good and strive for the good. That's part of why we're here. Um, keep working, keep looking, keep trying to create positive energy. And when you can't, find somebody to uh, sit with and talk to. And perhaps they can help you find the thread that you need to grasp onto to get through the day or to begin looking for the positive and begin working for the positive. So I hope that gets it, gives you some thoughts. These are my thoughts. Um, yours may be different from this devotion, but that's the way devotions go. Hope to um, talk to you again soon.